Not surprisingly, the start of the cricket season is underway from tomorrow. At least the county championship starts at venues from Stockton in the north to Taunton and Canterbury down in the south. Now, there will be lots of sunshine to look forward to, but not very exciting temperatures. It will be double sweater day tomorrow, wherever you are, really. About 9 degrees at Stockton. The high is probably Taunton, 14. That's just 57 Fahrenheit. But certainly more sunshine to come on the eastern side of the country than we saw today. The cold winds are still there. They're coming down from the north or northeast. But the thing that's going to happen in the next 24 hours is that these isobars are going to spread out. So that means to say the winds will gradually get lighter. It really has been quite a keen wind for the last two or three days. But those lighter winds tomorrow, especially across those more western parts of Britain, as you can see here, I mean, it will be pleasantly warm, I fancy, despite not very exciting values. Lots of sunshine, in fact, to end the day today. There's still a finger of cloud across the south. It's very gloomy through East Anglia, up this eastern fringe of the country. And still some showers possible through East Anglia and these more southern counties, Kent, Sussex, and through the Channel Islands tonight. There could still be the odd rumble of thunder. Some wintry showers, in fact, some heavier wintry showers coming back to Shetland as the night goes on. But for many parts of Britain, it'll be a fine, clear, cold night. A ground frost from about the Midlands and Wales northwards. A touch of air frost, too, in the glens of Scotland, especially down to about minus one. Well, the ridge of high pressures with us tomorrow. That does mean to say many places will stay fine, bright and sunny, and certainly becoming less windy. But again, a rather cloudy start across much of the south through the East Midlands, East Anglia, up through North East England, parts of eastern Scotland, too, getting off to a rather cloudy start. Still those wintry showers up in the far northeast of Scotland, and maybe the odd residual shower from overnight down through the Channel Islands. But things will get better through the day, rather quicker to see the sunshine. In fact, some places didn't see the sun at all, of course, today. So a lot more sunshine developing across these more southeastern parts tomorrow, and temperatures eventually reaching about 11, 12, 13, 14. The high is 15 degrees out there across western Wales, but only nine, as you can see, down that North Sea coast. Now, during the weekend, or Friday onwards, we're going to see these weather systems from the Atlantic getting that little bit closer. Probably bring a little bit of drizzle into parts of Northern Ireland, some cloud into the Western Isles of Scotland later in the day on Friday. After a rather chilly start, though, plenty of sunshine, but then some more persistent rain showing up in western parts of the country during Saturday. And that's it. <laughs>